Good afternoon, everyone. Yeah, we're going to be uh, going over a few things this evening. Um, I wanted to ask the church bases on some very important uh, aspects when it comes to this government contracting. Um, we're going to be using uh, the U.S. government spending. I'm going to be showing you guys how to go in there and create a marketing uh, plan. You know, being able to know who you're going to be going after, who, you, who your customers are going to be. Um, so, um, I told you guys last week I was going to be sharing some good stuff with you. So let's dive on over into this. Uh, we're going to be going to U.S. government spending. This is where you can come and find out where the government is spending the money at. Government contracts, doesn't matter what this emergency rental assistance, uh, economic injury, disaster loan, um, the federal transit uh, formula grants, the uh, airport improvement programs, all that stuff. Anything that the government is spending money on is going to be right here. Uh, as you see right here on the left, the government um, has spent $3.4 trillion in response to COVID-19. Now, this is just with, you know, in response to COVID-19. You can actually go in here and view. Uh, by clicking here, you can actually go and see where they spent all that money at. But for today, we're going to be going right here to um, award search. As you see right here, we're going to click on advanced search. <clears throat> the government spent a pretty good bit of money on this, uh, getting this, this site together. Um, during the time that Trump was in office made things a lot more easier for us to be able to navigate and uh, be able to go in and search some tools that we uh, use some tools to bring down the search on a lot of stuff but um, by now you're going to be used to seeing these filters right here uh, a lot of these filters you see uh, either in the sounds uh, in beta sounds or um, um, F, uh, FPDS you're going to see them in there but so basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to do a search uh, say janitor um, so basically what you want to do is this government spending go all the way back to 2008 but we're going to what we're going to do we're just going to cover uh, 21 and 20 and we're going to do an award search for say um, keyword let's say janitor Come up here and click submit search and over here to the right you're gonna see all the contracts right now between these two years 19 uh, 2020 and 2021 um, contracts out when I was you know 9.8 million contracts that's a lot of contracts then you go able to go over here and see the award ID you can actually click here and actually go and see uh, in detail about that particular award who won that award which is Lockheed Martin you're going to see the start date so this was a carrying on start date from 1999 um, the ending of this stop this uh, contract was 2017 um, and undoubtedly rolling over into 2020 um, we have everything set from 2020-21 go ahead and see the award dollar amounts that you know that particular company you know was awarded um, come in and see the contract IDVs any grants that was given out during that doing those two um, between last year and this year direct payments loans any you know you can come here just about and see anything that you really want to see when it comes to these government contracts uh, but we're going to be concentrating on um, this table over here for a time Spending over a period of time. Um, for some of you, you that know me, you know that you know I used to 
dip and dab in trading stocks and forex for quite a few years over a period of time. So reading charts and stuff like that is pretty good. You know, I'm pretty good at reading these charts. I'm pretty good at knowing, you know, where something is headed based on a trend. Uh, whether or not it's showing any support, resistance, or something like that. But um, with these particular charts here, we're watching this government spending. It's kind of like um, somewhat in the same area there. But these, these, um, this chart. Let me see if I can scroll out. No, I can't scroll out. But um, this uh, spending over time, you know, it's you know, it's spot trends and the spending. Uh, um, over a chosen period of time, it gives you a breakdown of the results you know that you're gonna have over there, whether by years, quarters, months, or whatever. Uh, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and show you how to look at um, this chart um, in a time category. Uh, what you really want to look at, you want to keep in mind that. Um, you want to know the seasons for the government um, when it comes to these times and these quarters, um, the seasonalities of them, um, and you can you you know you want to build uh, you want to build your your relations with the government during a certain time of the year. Now, between um, the government's um, time period starts from October the 1st and runs to December the 31st for their first quarter. So unlike with us, our first quarter is from January to March. The government's quarter is different. The government's first uh, first quarter starts October the 1st, ends December the 31st. Um, that's their slow period. You'll see, you know, normally you'll see during those periods that, you know, if holidays are coming around. Um, they don't have really much money, you know, in the system during that particular time yet. Uh, so everything is kind of slow. January to March, things are still going slow. You know, just had New Year's or whatever. And then around about um, the third quarter, which is um, April to June, you're going to see a, um, things start picking up. You're going to see a lot of money coming into the system. You're going to see a lot of work. Awards being watered out, springtime is coming in, a lot of contractors getting in, you know, getting in, winning quite a few bids. A lot of um, government contracting specialists are throwing out contracts, you know, left to right. But then when you get into the fourth quarter, which is between July and September, you're going to see a lot of craziness going on. You're going to see a lot of, um, Contracts, you're gonna see a lot of crazy contracts. Like, man, how did they get this contract? How did they get that contract? It's like they just throwing them out there. That's because they're going, they're in their final quarter, and they're trying to wrap up whatever they're gonna wrap up before the year ends for them, which is in September. Um, so you're gonna see a lot of that going on, and you're gonna see a lot of that going on during the time of July and September. So you put your mind and think about tax season uh, for an accountant. How crazy it is for accountants during tax season. That's how crazy it's going to be for um, the government contractors during this particular period of the last quarter of the year. You know, um, you're going to see all kind of wars being made. You know, during this particular time, um, you you ain't really got time to take no vacations during the time of or actually. If you're gonna take vacations, you're gonna to have to take your vacation between the first two quarters of the year. Between April and September, it's a lot of contracts out there. So what I do is during the during the, the month of um during the first quarter, October to uh December, I'm building up my relationship with all my contractors. I'm gonna be sending out whatever capability statements I need to be sending out, I'm gonna be Responding to uh, going to be doing a little research on who won last year bids, how much they won with these last year bids, um, what they took in, uh, what they was looking for. I'm going to be looking at all these particular bids from last year um, during that particular time. I'm going to be emailing them, um, send, you know, like I say, sending out my capabilities. I'm going to make myself known to them because 
you know, come um, April and June, they're going to start sending out a few contracts because they got a little money coming in now. Then, around right about July, money in, been in. They finna start shooting it out of there. So I want to be um, in that loop. I want them to know that I exist. No different than when you go in and apply for a job. You go apply for a job, you submit your resume, you stay on top of them. You call them, blah, blah, blah. You know, seeing if they need any help, seeing if they're looking for anybody. You know, you're making sure you keep them on your mind. You want to do the same thing with your business. Keep them, keep your business on their mind. So, so let's go here. Let me go in here in the months. Show you how it is with the months. Because September is really when they spend a lot of money. Um, October 2019. April. Um, remember I was telling you? April. They starting to spend the money. Here it is right here. 2020. April they started spending a pretty good bit of money. You know. Um, spent, and now this is just janitory. Remember we just in the keyword with janitory right here. In April 2020, they spent $1.2 trillion the month of April on janitorial contracts. Uh, September, they spent $400 billion on janitorial contracts. Um, April here, they spent 573 April of this year, they spent $573 um, billion dollars go back over here okay yeah they spent 1.2 trillion dollars in April September 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 of last year they spent 400 billion dollars on janitorial contracts and then coming into January of this year they spent 656 billion dollars on janitorial contract. Now let's look and see what they spent. See, September, it was going down here. They only spent $117 billion in September on government contracts uh, for janitorial, you know. Uh, so, but for some time you can see, you know, during this pandemic, it's a little bit different. If we go ahead and click all, And you see these uh, these peaks and valleys. These peaks and valleys are quarters, you know. And um, and normally, when you see these peaks and valleys, it tells a story. Every peak is followed by a valley. So you have a peak here, followed by a valley. 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 In the stock market. Or in the forex market, if you see something that's going all the way across, in the stock work, stock market world, we consider that to be a, you know, a rally. You know, it ain't going up or down; it's just going, you know, sideways. If you have an outbreak, but look at this year here. <laughs> this is what we was looking at. April 2020 where they spent that 1.2 trillion dollars. Look at the peak on here. See? Now, we're looking at going all the way back to 2008. There was a lot of money spent on janitorial contracts in 2000 in 2020 in the month of April alone, 1.2 trillion dollars. So a lot of people made some money with that. Um you know, but um I like this format that they come up with because you can go in and see a lot of data you know a lot of information is available for you to be able to see um, you know in dealing with this this you know the months they they, they demonstrate some a lot of important information you know what I'm saying and for every as I was telling you for every major um, every major spike in these you know in these monthly uh, demonstrations you know you're gonna see um, the whole thing with this course and what we've been doing uh, within this course, basically my whole objective is to get you in the right place 
at the appropriate time to make you confident in the business that you're trying to get into but at the same time I want to make sure that you're educated with who the government actually are becoming the type of money that they actually been spending the type of companies that they actually want to spend their money with and I also want to let you know uh, who your customers are who your customers gonna be uh, and how to come up with a proven plan to be able to you know get your information out to these customers you know the, the people you want to do business with you know and 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 to look at your competition you're able to go back look and see who won these bids in your particular area you're able to do all that you're able to look at your competition and see what they're doing if they did it hell you can do it too you know so this is the whole objective for this is to be able to come through here get educated on where the government is spending their money who's they spending it with who's spending it you know what they're looking for you know um you know all of that you know you can come here and you can see the prime awards what was what was being spent you can actually sit right uh click right here and you can actually see the sub awards see um man that's a lot of money that was spent obligations to uh no let's go back because we're looking at all physical years and they go all the way back to 2008 so let's do this let's do 21 and 20 uh 2021. Yeah, it's more like it. Man. Ooh, that's a lot of money. Man, that's a lot of money. Well, as you see, you know, um, it's a lot of money that actually went out in serve awards. You know, so, like I say, it's a lot of money out here to be made and like I say we in just one NAC category which is janitorial we ain't even begin to look into con uh, construction or nothing like that you know um, another good thing I like about uh, US government spending is what they spend a lot of time on I don't know how they come up with this you know the sequences of this and this is the map you come here and you can click on the map you can actually go in and see these geographical areas of where, um, where the money is being spent, the total spending, you can actually see the total spending per capita. Uh, quite a good, you know, quite a good, one of, it's, I'm, I'm very impressed with, you know, what they did when they came up with this map uh, and gathering this information. Um, you know, you can, when you explore this map and you see this breakdown on the spending data um, based on the county, congressional districts, you know, you're able to go in and see the results by place of performance or the uh, the recipient location. You can even hover over and choose like uh, uh, more details in different locations, you know. Um, looking at this map, um, you're going to be able to see where the money has been going, you know, for janitorial. We, we're still on a janitorial. $922 billion was spent in janitorial. Uh, contracts in California uh, they, they, they've they had the most pumped into their area I think California might have been the first one to shut down when it came to the um, coronavirus in 22 but anyway uh, yeah you're able to go in if you want to go into your state and see how much money is being put into that area so that you can know if you've got a janitorial company shit you want to know you want to know where the money is be, where the money is being spent at the money ain't being spent in your state. Look in other states. You know, get you a, get you a, put you a plan together. Go and look at some contracts in other states. Get those contracts. You know, get those contracts. If you want to send some people out there to do the work, that's fine. If not, you want to sub out some of the work to a contractor that's already in that state that knows that area. You can do that. That's fine. But this is where you're gonna be getting all the bread and butter at right here. Being able to know where the money is being put at. Uh, on in in with your next code, you know, if you got a next code for, um, I don't know, uh, uh, temporary help, and and you see where hey, some of the money may not be going in that area, you know, you go in other areas and look. Uh, here in Alabama, hundred and twenty-three billion dollars was spent on janitorial. 
Uh, Mississippi, $72 billion was spent. Georgia, $205 billion was spent. Florida, $537 billion was spent in janitorial. Texas had $630 billion spent in janitorial. You know, that's a lot of money being spent. You know, we're, and we're just in janitorial. You know what I'm saying? Uh, again, this map right here, you know, you can go in and see a lot of stuff with this map. You can actually, like I said, you can come right here and click where it says county. You can see you know the counties that actually got the money how much money actually went to the counties you know in these areas wait on this to load up yeah again like I was saying earlier it was amazing how they did this with you know being able to come in here and do these maps where you can even go down and see the congressional uh, congressional district and the map the uh, um, counties you know we able to come here I'm able to you see right here in Dade, Miami Dade County 45 billion dollars were put spent right there for janitorial contracts 61 billion was spent right here in Tampa you know so again you're able to see a lot of information you know um, I mean these tools I mean you, you you think about it these 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 people who these companies who charge you thousands of dollars I know this for a fact to get this data for you you know they'll get it for you they're gonna charge you thousands of dollars to show you what I'm to do just what I'm showing you how you can go and do for yourself you know I spent a lot of time a lot of energy learning this stuff over the years going from when it was uh, fed bid opportunity to they coming up with this um with beta sam gsa took over and come up with beta sam putting everything in one spot having to go back and learn all this again all these different sites and stuff you having to learn all over again because it's 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 110 percent different than what it used to be that we were so used to navigating and going to uh all those years with, when it was FBO, it, uh, Fair Bid Opportunity, and it was CCR, uh, Central Contractor Registration. Some of you guys who've been in the contracting for a long time, y'all know the system that we was on. It was a much easier system than it is now. But I can agree um, and, 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 and say that this system that they have now is 10 times better than what they had before. The only thing before was it was a lot more easier. Here now, this has gotten a lot more expensive for people to be able to do it for you because it's, it's technical, you know. Uh, but again, they got everything here in one place. Another thing, last thing I want to go over in this particular area right here is the categories. Now we're going to be able to go and look at a list of the top agencies from, you know, that's, that paid out money. For 2020 and this year so far 21 in janitorial contracts as we see here the Department of Health and Human Service has paid well you know in, in contracts 3.2 trillion dollars they had 2.3 trillion dollars in contracts that they paid out you know uh, Social Security Administration paid out 2.2 trillion Small Business Administration paid out 914 billion in government contracts for a janitorial so if I'm in the janitorial business and, you know, I got an uncle, he works with the Department of Transportation. So I say, okay, well, shoot, I'm just going to target what he working at, you know. I go here and I look and see how much they spent, you know, last year and so far this year. They spent $220 billion so far. Yeah, I can throw some contracts out there. You know, I throw some bids on some contracts out there. But they ain't really spending a whole lot of money, you know, based on... Um, the top five you see what I'm saying but if I go here to the Department of Health and Human Service you know I widen the brand I widen the, I broaden the band for myself to be able to come in and jump in a market that's a 3.2 trillion dollar um, payout see so you know even if I make a million a year uh, a, a couple of million a year in janitorial contracts with this that's crumbs to this right here see so it would be insane for me to come down here and try to do 
and, 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 and sending my information to the Department of uh, Homeland Security and Department of Transportation. I'm going to send my capability statement to these two companies, to these two industries, I mean, uh, uh, to these two agencies right here. Between the Social Security Administration, the Department of Human Health, I'm going to be sending my capability statements to them. I'm going to be spending my time emailing them, get, making sure they know me because they they in the trillion dollar sector, you know. So, uh, again, like I say, you know, you want to be able to... Uh, you want to be able to know where the money is being spent. You see what I'm saying? And then you can come down here and you can see the next 10. You know, you click here. It's going to show you the, the next 10, you know, uh, award spending. The ones who received the award at. Before we was looking at the top 10. Now we're looking at uh, the next 10. You know, come here. The uh, Department of House, uh, Urban, uh, the Housing of Urban, Department of um, Housing and Urban Development. They spent $140 billion on this, you know. And again, you know, it's big money that they, that these, you know, these agencies are spending, you know. But you want to stick around this top 10, you know. You're going to be pushing, if you want to be pushing to make some money, go where the money is at. Go where there's plenty of money at and plenty of opportunities, you know. Uh, do your research, you know. Um. You know, I'm not going to stay long on this, but I just wanted to, you know, cover this a little bit. I promise you, I was last week I was going to show you some pretty good stuff. So this right here is it. This is where you want to be at. You know, U.S. government spending. Um, you know, look over it. Play around with it. Get used to it. Um, become familiar with it. You know, um, October, this month right here is the beginning of, you know, the beginning of um, the first quarter. They waiting on laws and stuff to be passed, approved, approved of. They're gonna be waiting on money to come in the first of the year. You want these people to already know about you coming into the year 2022. You know, uh, and uh, let me see here. Let me, let me. As you see, this is for 2022. This is the fiscal year for 2022. Uh, 25 billion dollars has already been set aside for the Department of Education for janitorial. Nine times out of ten, it's gonna be because of these schools. Kids gotta go to school, stuff like that. So, you know, just to give you a heads up of where the money is headed to right now for 2022, Department of Education sending their 25, uh, 25 billion dollars. You know. So, but anyway, uh, that's going to be a, I'm going to bring this to a close now. You know, I just wanted to go over some, uh, this information with you. You know, you guys go over this, you know, go in there, dive into it, man. Go in there and, and study this stuff. You know what I'm saying? You know, um, so that you know it, you know, um, you know, put your, put your stuff together for your company. Go after these agencies. Get that capability statement where it need to be. Make sure that capability statement is a, a stunner. You know, represent your company because that's going to be your first and your that's your your first and foremost introduction for your company. You know, and uh, yeah, like I said, just go on there, study, look around, uh, get aggressive with it. You know, and hope you guys you know get a lot out of this I mean they put a lot of money into this particular site it's a lot of information here you know and uh, I'll see you guys at the next session